Hey, FitWeLike.com here, and today we've got the Ab Carver Pro, and we're going to try it all out. So first off, if you've ever used an ab wheel before, you might know that stability is a big problem. You've got to be really careful with it, and sometimes you'll just lose, you know, the ability to come back up, and you'll just be kind of stuck there in midair. So one of the things that this helps out is that you've got a very wide wheel, so that improves the stability, but inside of it is the, a spring recoil. So you'll see that in action right now. Let's go ahead and show it to you. So this is my starting position, and wherever I put the wheel, like I can't move back from the starting position. You'll notice that it gets stuck right there, and I can't move it back unless I totally drag it like this or whatever, which is nice because it just, like that's a, uh, a, a marker, essentially. So I can go ahead, go forward, and then let go. It's gonna recoil back to me. So that's the spring recoil in action. All right, so then when you do this, you know, you wanna start off normally. Make sure your back is uh, arced like this. So then it goes, points upward, right? And then when you go down, you wanna hold it there, count for five seconds, come back up, and then automatically, you know, you'll know when to stop. You can have it further out if you want, whatever. But basically, you don't want to go back past like a 90 degree angle here. So I guess I should have had it further out anyway. But you kind of get the idea here. One of the reasons to have your back arced like this instead of this is that it helps you as far as avoiding injuries. Like if you were to really do it like flat or bending inward, that or downward that would be a pain in your lower back and trust me you do not want to do that so arc it up if you can and that's basically it as far as the ab carver pro is uh concerned if you do have any questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll you know gladly answer them and that is it peace out